Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Mindy Egan for Honeybee Stamps and in today's video I am going to be featuring this sentiment, there's no place like home. The reason I chose this is because with the holidays and the uncertainty of getting together with family, I really wanted to make a card that just had all the warm fuzzy feels to it. I'm starting with the Buffalo Plaid stamp set. This is a large stamp set. I'm loading that into my Misty and then I'm going to be placing a piece of white cardstock in here and I do have this piece of cardstock larger than my stamped image so that way if I want to trim this down or something doesn't stamp perfectly I can always trim that down to the size I need. So I am stamping this in the Altenew Obsidian Pigment Ink. The reason I went with this pigment ink is because it is so thick and sometimes these large backgrounds like this can be kind of hard to stamp and get some really crisp images. So I did stamp this probably about three times just to make sure I had really solid black lines. While I have my Misty stamping tool out, I'm going to get the rest of my stamping done, starting with one of my all-time favorites from this release, which is the Farmhouse Tree Builder. This is probably going to go on every card that I make because I love the layering look of this. I'm starting with the base layer, stamping this in Grassy Knoll, which is from Pinkfresh Studio. Again, stamping that twice because there is a lot of image to stamp here. This is a larger Christmas tree. Then I'm taking that second layer of the tree, lining that up. I don't think there's really a wrong way to line this up. That's what I love about this. And I'm stamping this in olive ink from Pinkfresh Studio. Then I wanted to bring in just a simple small image to pair with my tree. So I'm using the Woodland Winter Animals stamp set. I fell in love with this adorable reindeer that has this scarf on here that I'm in a color to match my background. So I'm just stamping this in some black intensified ink, which is Copic friendly. Did stamp it twice, make sure that that is a really nice crisp line. And then I'm going to color this image with my Copic markers. So all of my colors will be listed at the top of the screen for your reference. I have E37 as my darkest color. So typically when I'm coloring, I look at what direction the critter or the image is facing. And to me, it's facing to the right. So I'm going to have my shadow areas on the left. So I have E37, E35, E33, and E31. And I'm leaving just a small area for the highlight so that the majority of this does stay kind of that nice light brown. And then for the deer face and kind of the front side of it, I'm going to be coloring that in E53, E51, and E50. I thought this was just a really nice kind of soft color to add to the image and I'll also use one of those colors to do the antlers. I'm going to do the hooves in kind of a dark gray. I don't usually like to use black. Actually hardly ever do I color with a, a actual black. So I'm using N4 and N8 I believe for the hooves. I'm also going to use this color combination for the scarf and that is going to match my background. Then I'm going to take the coordinating dies I'm going to line these up over my images, hold that in place with just some low tack tape, and then I will run these through my die cut machine. For my sentiment for my card, I'm going to use the home stamp set and the home honey cut, which actually has three layers to it. And I'm going to die cut it from a piece of cardstock out of this Ruby Romance pack. These have some gorgeous red textures and shades to them. There's some in this kind of a matte satin finish. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's also some that's a really shiny foil, but I really wanted to go with kind of this ruby slipper type of gl glitter paper. And so I'm going to die cut the word home out of that red glitter cardstock. I'm also going to die cut the word home actually four more times out of some heavy white cardstock. This is 110 pound. I'm layering them, two of them together using the precision glue. And then I'm going to put my glitter piece on top of that. And I like using the liquid glue because I can kind of move this around a little bit. I have some wiggle room to make sure that everything is lined up. And I really love the fine tip of this glue. So after I have that all lined up, I die cut the shadow layer 
from some vellum. Now you may have seen this before in my videos. I love doing this and I love showing it. I think it's just a gorgeous way to add a sentiment to the card and having that shadow layer die cut in vellum. After I attached this main word to the vellum, I glued two more pieces of white cardstock together that I had the die cut home from and I'm layering it on the back side. This is going to give me dimension to my card and I don't have to worry about cutting up any foam strips or foam squares. This will add that even coverage to the back of this. For kind of a sub sentiment, I'm using a small sentiment off of that home stamp set. I love their Honeybee's small stamp sets because they just work so well for so many different occasions and cards and they're a great price point. So I'm stamping this in Versamark ink onto some red cardstock and I did prep that cardstock with an anti-static powder tool that way it'll help kind of minimize my embossing powder going everywhere and it should just stick to that Versamark ink. Now I'm taking some white detail embossing powder, sprinkling that on top and tapping off any excess. And once my heat tool is really nice and hot, I kind of move it back and forth and just melt that embossing powder. And I will trim this down to a thin strip off screen. My plaid stamp panel, I trimmed down to four by five and a quarter. And I also cut four more pieces of white cardstock to that exact size and layered that together. Again, that is minimizing my use of foam tape. I have even coverage across the entire back panel of my card front. And then I can attach that to a white piece of cardstock measuring four and a quarter by five and a half. So an, a US A2 size card. Now I'm just taking my layered tree, adding that to the corner of the card there with some tape runner. I applied some foam squares to the back of my deer and I'm going to pop that up right in front of the tree. And then I can attach my sentiments. Now this totally screams home to me. We're not sure what's going on with Christmas this year, if we're going to be visiting home or not. And I want to send this to my mom this year for Christmas and just let her know there is no place like home. I love the plaid. I grew up in the country. So this kind of reminds me of a country style uh, type of theme and it matches kind of the Christmas theme I have going on in my home right now for decorating. So totally loving how this card came together and I love how Honeybee's products pair so nicely. All of the supplies used today will be listed down below in the video description. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again soon.